Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a weekly message from Jesus. Each week, our Lord comes to us, and he brings us these wonderful messages. They're all up on our YouTube channel. It's in my name. If you need inspiration, go in and check them out. His messages are also in the book that's over my corner, my shoulder there. Messages of God for a Modern World. You can check his messages out in that book as well. So our father's here, and I know he's waiting to speak. So let us begin. Good morning, everyone, and my blessings be on to all of you. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how difficult it is to live a human life. Frustration. Imagine all the frustration that we go through every day of our lives. People will not respond to your love. You try to help them, and it appears like you're wasting your time. Frustration is a terrible thing, but it is a lesson that humans must learn. You see, if a life was easy, you would not be able to learn your lessons. You have to think of a human life as going to a long-term school. Each day situations change, and each day you find new frustration. That sadly is the way that things happen. Humans are very difficult creatures. The free will that I gave them causes them to do many stupid things. When you observe those stupid things and they affect you, you become frustrated. You sometimes give up. Well, I don't want you to do that. Giving up is the worst thing that you can do. You have to persevere. If life wasn't difficult and had challenges to it, you wouldn't have the opportunity to excel. There are many, many people out there that do truly try to spread my words, but they're frustrated by those that don't want to hear them. Well, that's on them. Everyone should at least open their heart to the extent that they listen to my words. I've done everything I can to get the word through to everyone. We've been trying for thousands of years to convince humans just simply to live a good life. I guess that's too simple. Maybe if we gave them this long instruction sheet and said, do this, do that, do that, do everything on the sheet, or you'll go to hell. Well, churches have already done that, so that didn't work too well either. I want all of you to live a very simple and happy life. We're entering the season where you celebrate my birth. It is a wonderful time, but there are many people that don't even acknowledge the fact that I exist and then go out and celebrate my birth. How's that work? It does not make sense. If it was up to me, if you didn't believe in my birth or in me, don't celebrate it. Continue with your narrow, unhappy lives and forget about it. Why should you celebrate my birthday if you don't believe in me? Well, sometimes even I get a little frustrated. I want all of you to live the best life possible. That comes from believing in me. You may watch these people with these huge amounts of money on their yachts. You see them in the sun smiling. Well, that sun's going to stop shining for them one day. They're going to die. Everyone passes from this earth. And they are not taking that yacht along with them. It doesn't work like that. They will enter heaven as they left it. They left heaven 
with nothing and they will return with nothing. That's when their frustration will begin. They will understand how that wonderful life they thought they were living was really a path to negative karma. If they fail to help others, then in their next lives, they're not going to have that wealth and they're going to need help and assistance. You see, their soul failed their life plan. I'm sorry about that, <clears throat> but we tried to help them. If they prayed, they would have had guidance. But no, greed, greed's a terrible thing. Greed prevents people from helping others. Many people are frustrated by all the events that are taking place around them over which they have no control. It's always been like that. <clears throat> when I walked the earth, the Romans did things and I had no control over, but I made the most of it. In spite of knowing that there would be consequences, I helped others. I healed people. I did many things to help. I did miracles. Now, many of you out there can't do miracles, but you can simply help. When I walked the earth, there was much evil. There's much evil now. There were very rich Romans that had many slaves. They simply weren't helping others. <clears throat> they were trying to live the best life they could live. The best life you can live only comes through me. Many of you understand that already, and I bless you for it. But many of you will not even take time to listen to my words. Many of you will do as much as you can to harm others. Many of you have no regard for human life. We're seeing that today in Europe. Hundreds of thousands of young men are being sent to their deaths for absolutely no reason other than the ego of leaders of their country. The Ukrainians are simply trying to defend themselves and they're losing many of their young men as well. It should never be happening. I am frustrated by the fact that a human can have no regard for life. How is that possible? It's possible because they allow their egos to grow to an immense size where it affects their judgment. They want power, they want greed. They have plenty of greed. I misspoke there. <clears throat> but what they want is wealth. They think that wealth brings them happiness. Think about the fact <clears throat> that the leader of the country that is causing all of this grief will soon be coming home. Once you cross the 70-year barrier, it will not be overly long until you return to heaven. He's got very little time, and he's creating all the havoc he can create. Well, when he returns, he's going to find out that all of the havoc that he thought about will come to roost for him. All of those that support him will also be judged harshly. All of those that are cruel, the torture, that do things to humans that are unspeakable, they will be judged very harshly. And they will be put in levels with others 
that have reacted the same to their lives. There's no hell, but the lower levels are certainly not as attractive <clears throat> as the upper realms of my heaven. I want you to focus upon your individual lives. I want you to figure out how you can eliminate frustration. Frustration leads to depression. Depression can often lead to suicide. As I've spoken many times during this holiday season, many people become so depressed that they consider taking their own lives. If you think you know anyone that is considering suicide, give them a phone call, talk to them. Don't exactly say, hey, I think you're going to kill yourself. That would be a bad start. But gently speak with them. Find out if there's anything that you can do to help their loneliness. Use the holiday season to advance your own soul. Go to shelters, volunteer. When people do drives to give things to people in need, support it. When you go in a grocery store, you'll often see a box of food for the poor. Now, admittedly, that grocery store could fill that box up with no problem. <clears throat> but that's their problem. Put a couple cans of groceries in. People really appreciate, those in need really appreciate the fact that others care and give. Toy drives. Many children will not, ex will not receive any toys Christmas morning. Think of your youth and how much you enjoyed your parents putting presents under the tree. Buy some inexpensive toys. Put them in that box. Help the children to enjoy my birthday. You see, we, I've been speaking many times that the children are the key. If children have a, some happiness in their lives, they will be more prone to listen. If a child has only loneliness, happiness, maybe violence, maybe the parents beat them, that child has a very difficult path. It is very possible for them to do great things, but it is much easier if they have a happy childhood. Use the Holy Week to speak to the young about me. It makes sense. You're celebrating my birthday. Make sure that they believe. Make sure that they understand that Christmas is not simply a day where they get presents. Let them know the significance of it. Now, there are many things that people don't understand and get wrong about my birth. But the fact that you celebrate it is much more important than that there are facts that you don't understand about it. Make plans. Give yourself freedom to help others. Spare time. Frustration does not lead to spare time. Remove toxicity from your lives. Solve the problems that are giving you the frustration. Sometimes simply walking away from an individual that frustrates you will solve the problem. Sometimes it's very difficult to do these things. It may be that a lifelong friend is, has turned on you, is telling you that you're foolish for believing in me. Don't listen to them. Walk away from them. It's very difficult, but you'll feel much better for it. 
I want all of you to be extremely happy, and I want you to be very, very happy this holiday season. You'll be receiving messages from, from me, from my mother, my father. You see, you'll have the opportunity to hear the joy that my birth brought to them. My life brings joy to many people. It brings anger to many people as well that don't believe. But once again, that's their problem. All I want is for all of you to lead happy lives and do not do anything to anyone that you do not want done to you. If you do that, you will eliminate people from your life. There are many people that can't stand to be happy. There are many people that just simply want to hurt other people. Stay away from them. Simply live a good life. I keep repeating myself, but that's how simple it is. So we'll have some different messages for you during this holiday season, and you'll be hearing from my family members. I want all of you to focus on removing frustration and unhappiness from your lives. So thank you for listening. I'll be back again next week. <clears throat> You're all blessed, and I hope that you have a wonderful week. Goodbye, and thank you for listening. <clears throat> thank you, Father, as always. Another great message. <clears throat> These messages are, are all on my YouTube channel. You can listen to one a day. You can do it anything you want with them. They're all free. So we'll be back again next week, and we'll bring you another one of his wonderful messages. Tell your friends about us. Bring listeners. It's the best you can do for the other, for those people. Lead them to God. There's no better path. Goodbye. He's blessed all of you. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.